what I wanted to do was I wanted to just go through a few principles that are very important for each and every single one of us to know when it comes to the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? Because in this day and age that we live, the amount of shubuhat, the amount of doubts that we find running in our faces, being thrown at us left, right and centre, whether it's from those deviant Muslims, whether it's from the non-believers, you know, the atheists and the Christians and the Jews, you know, and the liberals, all of them. All of them have shuhad doubts which are being thrown our way and they want us to disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, inshallah ta'ala, I wanted to just give you guys just a few principles that you can benefit from inshallah ta'ala. Um, and if you hold on to these principles and you don't let loose of them, inshallah ta'ala, you won't go wrong when it comes to the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the asma and the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First and foremost, in the famous hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, in the famous hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, where Jibreel alayhi salam, he came to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he started to ask the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam questions. And from one of the questions that he asked is that he asked the Messenger alayhi salatu wasallam to inform him about al-Iman. What is al-Iman? What does al-Iman consist of? And from the explanation that he gave from the things that he mentioned that consist of Al-Iman, he says that it is belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we've already mentioned previously, consists of three things. That you believe that Allah is alone in the actions that he does. You believe in his ar that he alone does the actions that he does. No one else can do the actions that Allah wa ta'ala does. These actions are uniquely for him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, He is worshipped. We don't worship other than Allah. We only worship Him. Our dua is for Him. Our salah is for Him. Our sadaqah is for Him. Our zakat is for Him. Our fasting is for Him. Every act of ibadah, act of worship we do, is only for Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third thing is that we believe in the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe in the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Believing in the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, it stands on three principles. Three principles. The first principle is, is that we affirm for Allah, okay, and I want you to write this down if you can, okay? Sorry, I want you to write this down inshallah. Is that you affirm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that which he affirms for himself in the Quran. And you affirm for him that which now you affirm for him subhanahu wa ta'ala that which he affirmed for himself, whether that be in the Quran or whether that be on the tongue of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we affirm for Allah that which is mentioned in the Quran, that which He mentioned about Himself in the Quran, and that which He mentioned on the tongue of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And at the very same time, we negate for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that which He negated from Himself in the Quran, and that which He negated from Himself on the tongue of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's the first principle. You affirm for Allah what He affirmed from Himself and you negate from Allah what He negated from Himself. Every single name and characteristic that we ever want to apply and connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then it has to come from the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And you cannot take it from outside of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. So for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are characteristics that he affirmed from himself. He said that he is Al-Hay and he is Al-Qayyum. Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that stands for the affairs of his creation. Where did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention this? In Ayatul Kursi, in Surah Al-Baqarah. So Allah affirmed for himself being Al-Hay, Al-Qayyum. He affirmed it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also affirmed for himself that he's ar-Rahman. That he's ar-Rahman. 
So because Allah mentioned these things about him, we're going to affirm them as well. We're going to affirm them. But there are things now that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he negated from himself. Things that he said does not belong to Allah. It's not part of Allah. It's not connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is, for example, in the same ayah, in Ayat al-Qursi, what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negate from himself? He negated from himself a sinna wa no. He negated from himself sleeping, that Allah ta'ala is not one that sleeps. And he also negated from himself that which is known as a sinna. And the word a sinna basically comes from the word a nu'as, which basically means, uh, scholars they would say, the muqaddimah al Meaning the introduction to sleep. For example, when you start to feel very tired and your body and you know your eyes are shutting and you're about to knock out any moment, any moment you're about to go to sleep, that is known as a sinna. Even that doesn't happen to Allah Tabarak Ta'ala. So these are two things from the many things that Allah negated from Himself. So remember the principle. We affirm for Allah that which He affirmed for Himself. And we negate from Allah that which He negated from Himself. We don't bring something from a book on philosophy and say, this is Allah Ta'ala's characteristic. We don't go and read the Bible and say, this is negated from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. No. We stick to the Kitab and the Sunnah and we affirm what Allah affirmed from Himself and we negate that which Allah Ta'ala negated from Himself as well. That's the first principle. Okay? <coughs> the second principle is, is that we negate from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any resemblance with him in his unique characteristic. In his unique characteristic. That we negate from Allah any resemblance with other things when it comes to his unique characteristics. Meaning, anything which Allah is uniquely is for Allah, we negate it being for anybody else okay if allah has it uniquely we don't say it's don't say that this person has it as well rather we negate it from everything else so we negate from allah having any resemblance right with his creation in his unique characteristics in other words allah has a characteristic allah has names we don't say these are the characteristics of the people allah is al alim Allah is Al-Raziq, Al-Malik, Al-Mudabbir, you know, Al-Hadi, Al-Jabbar, Al-Mutakabbir. All of these are from the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're uniquely for him. We don't say anybody else has this. We don't attribute it to anybody else. And for example, the, the example that I gave earlier of, of the hand is... For, I'll give you another example. We say that Allah Taala has, He is Al Hay, He's alive, Hayat. Allah has a life. Allah Allah lives. But so did the creation. Allah lives, and we live as well. But does that mean that we're the same now? Of course not. Of course not, because we say Hayat Allahi leesa ka Hayat al Makhlukin. We say that the Hay, the living of Allah Taala is not like the living of the creation, meaning Allah's living is different from what angle, many angles, but from the most simplest is that He lives forever. Allah is ever living. As for me and you and the creation, we're all going to come to an end. We're all going to come to an end, whether we die now or whether when Yom Al takes place and everything gets destroyed, we're all going to come to an end. Sahih, we're all going to come to an end. So just because there might be a sharing in the name. Just because the name is shared, we say Allah has a hand and I have a hand, it doesn't mean that the reality of the hand is the same. Does that make sense? The name might be shared. We might say Allah has a yad and I have a yad. Okay? We might share the name. But the essence is different. Okay? The essence is different. So from the things which are unique characteristics of Allah Taala, we don't give it to anybody else. We don't give it to anybody else. And the third principle, the third principle is, 
Okay, so what was the first principle? That we affirm for Allah and we negate for Allah that which He affirmed and negated Himself. Alright? Regarding Himself. Number two, that that which is uniquely for Allah, we don't resemble it with anybody else. Okay? Never resemble it with anybody else. And the third thing is, is you have to get rid of any desire that you might have in wanting to know the how of Allah's characteristic. Because from the things that will take you away from the path of the sunnah is if you try to ponder too much how is Allah's hand, what does it look like, what size is it, what shape is it If it was needed for us to know, Allah would have told us Just remember that If it was something which we needed to know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have told us Get rid of any desire in wanting to know how the characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are The scholars they mention that there's only three ways that a person would be able to know the characteristics of Allah Number one, either you see Allah with your own eyes If you see Allah, of course you'll be able to know his characteristics And obviously, that's impossible, right? We can't see Allah wa ta'ala in this world Or, somebody has to, somebody who has seen Allah has to inform you Somebody who has already seen Allah informs you what Allah Looks like what his characteristics are. But we also know that nobody's seen Allah. So even that's impossible. That there is no one available to inform us exactly how the characteristics of Allah are. And third way is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself he tells you. He tells you himself about his characteristics. But in this case, Allah did tell us what his characteristics are, but he didn't tell us how they are. He informed us. That he does have characteristics, but he didn't tell us how his characteristics are in particular. And if a person, be it in light of Allah, if he sticks to these three things, and he sticks to these three principles, then inshallah ta'ala it will keep a person far, far away from ever falling into any sort of innovation or kufr. Regarding the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I wanted to go into also that which will nullify a person's belief in the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala But obviously I don't have time And it's important we respect the time with the masjid as well So inshallah ta'ala will carry that on bi'idhnillahi al-bari in the next lesson Anything which I said that which was incorrect and wrong Is from me and shaitan And Allah and his messenger are free from it Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik Shalom illa ilaha illa ant Yo. Yo, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I got the thing. What? How much is in there? 20 mil. You being serious? Yeah, hold that. It's yours now. You guys are probably wondering how this dusty looking camera is worth 20 mil. Let me break it down for you. About six years ago, some brothers and sisters gave us about 600 pounds in order for us to purchase this camera to make that our videos. Six years later, alhamdulillah, we made well over 1,000 videos and we reached over 20 million plus views on YouTube alone without taking into account all the other social media platforms that we're on. So those people at the time when they gave that money, I don't think they had any idea that that 600 pound that they gave was gonna go towards a camera that would reach 20 million people who watch videos and they changed their lives after having watched them. Who watched these videos and started praying, who watched these videos and accepted Islam. Can you imagine if they were sincere, the kind of reward that they're gonna get on the day of judgment, inshallah ta'ala. But now here's the issue. This camera is six years old. I mean, there's cracks in it, it's breaking. It's well past its sell by date. We're trying to take things up to the next level. In order to do that, we need a new camera. In fact, we need more than one. We need more equipment. We need to actually hire a bigger media team. But all of this stuff, it comes with expenses. It comes with costs. And over the next six years, inshallah ta'ala, we're looking to reach well over 20 million people. Now look, I'm gonna be direct with you. I'm about to ask you for some money to put towards the da'wah for the sake of Allah. But before I do that, I wanna tell you some figures, some statistics to show you the kind of reward that you might be looking at, inshallah, if you come with sincerity and the donation. 
Just take a look at the kind of numbers we have over the last 90 days. Over the last 90 days, we received over 1.4 million views on our YouTube channel alone. That's 466,000 views every 30 days. That's 15,555 views per day. That's right. You could be in your sleep, sleeping six, seven, eight hours a day, however much you sleep, and you just earn a reward, inshallah ta'ala. Why? Because you gave a bit of money that went towards a very big project. Now, with that 15,000 odd views a day, if you average that out across six years, which is the lifespan of this camera, do you know how much reward that is, inshallah? That's 34,065,450 views. I don't know about you, but that kind of reward, <laughs> I need that in my life. This is not the kind of opportunity that we should be passing up, especially if we've got sins. The Prophet said that giving charity wipes away sins the way that water it extinguishes fire. So look, say no more, inshallah ta'ala. I don't feel like I should have to convince you towards giving to a project like this anymore. If you want that kind of reward, you want the doubt to spread, you want la ilaha illallah to spread across the internet, inshallah ta'ala, then you want to give at the link below to this project. Assalamu alaikum, peace. Remember, 20 mil, yeah? And that's on YouTube alone.